Hello and welcome to the AGMS Big News event. My name is Bradley Eustace. I'm the Chair, Board of Directors from the Australian Guild of Music and Speech. It's with great pleasure to present to you today some exciting topics. And these topics include, who are we? Our big news, meet the team, what have we completed, events. We would love to hear your feedback. Let's start unpacking this. So first of all, who are we? Founded in 1969, the AGMS is a proud Australian not-for-profit education and examination body. The AGMS, through an Australia-wide and international system of graded examinations, aims to develop speech and music education and skills by promoting uncompromising standards of education in traditional and contemporary styles in both performing and teaching. So we have some big news to share. We have moved and we have moved to Queensland in Australia. So this will involve a new structure. Previously, we had the Australian Guild of Music Education and that was based in Victoria. And that included public exams right through to tertiary level. The Australian Guild of Music Education will remain in Victoria and will continue to provide engaging tertiary level courses, still Victorian based. The Australian Guild of Music and Speech, the Public Exams Division, has moved to Queensland and will continue to provide public examinations, workshops, clinics for music and speech. So let's meet the team. So the AGMS Board of Directors are myself as the Chair, Helen Little is Deputy Chair and also our Head Examiner, Denise Collins, Secretary, Malcolm Smith, Treasurer. And for admin, we all know and love Tia, if you've had anything to do with the Guild previously, and we are delighted to have her on board with us. We have also formed an academic advisory committee. Now at this time, the committee has been working independently on various syllabi reviews. However, in the future, we will be getting together and then cross-referencing these syllabi reviews. So leading here, we have Andy Firth, and we're very pleased to have Andy on board. Uh, clarinet and saxophone review, along with his beautiful wife, Liz Firth, and they've done a phenomenal job putting together the clarinet and saxophone syllabi. We have Dr. Kay Hartwig working on the piano forte syllabus, and Dr. Jan Skinner on the speech and drama. Dr. Jan Skinner is also our head speech and drama examiner. Bryce Leader on guitar, then Denise Collins on flute vocal, Christina Kay has done an amazing job on the syllabi and editing. Malcolm Smith on piano and keyboard. Myself on piano and keyboard. And Helen Little on piano and recorder. So what have we completed? Well, first and probably the most striking is the logo refresh. Andrew Wiley from Brandflow has done an amazing job to maintain the heritage of the guild. So starting with the Southern Cross, you can see that element has been maintained. And again, with the harp representing music. Then we have the happy and sad face, the universal symbol for speech and drama. We decided to change that from a dagger to a feather, and the feather is to represent creativity. What does the syllabus review involve? So starting at the very beginning, we have step one, which is preparatory, step two, which is elementary, and step three, which is preliminary. And I have to say for myself, being involved with the Guild for many, many years, the thing that really got me into the Guild was the fact that there was two grades just before preliminary, but they were real exams. It is a complete exam, but it is just age appropriate or level appropriate to that particular moment of where the student's up to in their development. Which means that I've had students myself sit for an exam with only like three to six months of learning to enter a preparatory level exam. So we've got preparatory, elementary, preliminary, then moving up, we have grade one right through to grade eight. We have introduced a CMUS AGMS. Now this was previously only in our contemporary piano and light classical piano syllabi, but this has been added into almost all of our other instruments. 
and then A mus, L mus, and F mus. Let's go back to the certificate. It's a really good stepping stone into the A mus. So once you've completed the grade eight, the C mus is a great way to prepare for your A mus. Ear tests, they've been refined. Part of that refinement was not only to review what the tests were, but how the tests were asked. So I'll cite an example in intervals. Previously, intervals, uh, the question was asked by playing a chord and a scale and then playing the interval and you had to name it. The function of the test was basically just to name the interval. So we've reduced it back to just playing the interval, which actually means that the syllabus is now very compatible with apt-based or computer testing software. So you can use any testing software you like for ear training to help your students practice at home or in your lesson. The technical work has been refined across all exam syllabi. We've got some exciting pieces that have been included as well. We have brand new syllabi covers, which we think look absolutely stunning. And again, Andrew Wiley has done an amazing job with this. And internally, Christina Kay has done a great job in laying out the fresh new look of the syllabi. There are some new features of the syllabi. And one is the clear outline of the grades, steps, certificate, and diploma. So here you can see for steps, it gives the description of what this is, the beginning elements to set the foundations of success in your instrument, right through to diploma, which is a virtuosic and professional concert level of performance, total mastery of your instrument. So this is great for you as a teacher or an educator, but also to show students as to where they are in the current progression of the grade system. We've also included really easy to understand marks and weighting system. So here you can see the pie chart. It says 60% is performance, 20% technical work, 6% for general knowledge, ear tests, and sight reading at 7%. We feel that showing it this way makes it really clear and easy to understand uh, the importance of each section. We've also included a marking scheme so that you can see what the examiner is looking at to achieve an A, B, or a C result. The marking scheme has also been refreshed and simplified. So one element of that is step one right through to grade eight. Now the pass mark across the board is 65, and then it is 70 for the C must right through to F must as the pass mark. Also, we've unified where the marks come in. So for example, we had 65 for pass, 70 for C plus, 75 for credit. So we've actually adjusted the high distinction to be 95. So we would be in line with all the other marks. So it's now 95 for high distinction, no longer 96. So here's an example of the grade one from Piano Forte. So first thing you'll probably see that is most striking is how nice and clear it is to read. There's a lot of explanation. If there is something a little bit unusual in relation to the technical work, for example, here it is the broken chords. They've actually been written out in full to help you prepare correctly for the exam. You'll also notice that there's a lot of white space and that's quite deliberate. Some feedback given to us from many teachers is they love to print out the syllabus and write all over the syllabus. So this gives you a great opportunity to write all over the syllabus to your heart's content. You see, we start with the technical work and then we move on to the performance. So in this particular syllabi, we have to play three pieces, list A, B or C. However, they can choose from five lists. So we have list one, which is studies. List two is Baroque. List three is classical. List four is romantic. List five is 20th, 21st century modern. So quite a large array of material there to choose from. And then we have sight reading, ear tests and general knowledge. So the syllabi refresh has been 30 syllabi typeset, and that's a total of 1,540 pages. We've also refreshed the theory papers. These are much easier and clearer to read now. We also have a brand new slogan, empowering your success is our passion. We are also very happy to announce our brand new website, agms.edu.au. Now over the next coming months, we will have more updates coming to the website. But at the moment, it has the fundamentals of the things you need to get going. You can download all of our syllabi for free. Just basically click it and then download or just view online. Another new feature is the ability to enroll online. So you can enter the exam for one student or many students online. It will work out the price 
and then you can pay via a credit card at the end. A unique feature that we have also, which is particularly great if you've got multiple students entering and you're waiting on some more entries or if you're waiting for a student to confirm, you can actually save your enrollment form before submitting it, which means you could enter, say, four students, for example, and then hit the save. It will send you a link to your email that you can recall at any time. Go back and add in the fifth student and then finalize enrollment at that time. We also have probably one of the nicest looking contact us pages. So feel free at any time to get in contact via the website. So all of this has been completed in under three months. But wait, there is more. We also have brand new teaching certificate and diplomas. So we have a CTMUS AGMS, which is for teaching from step one up to a grade two level. ATMUS AGMS, which is grade three to grade six teaching level. And then LTMUS AGMS, grade seven to CMUS level. Let's just give a little bit of an insight as to what it is that you do for this. Uh, so there are two main parts. So part one is the written folio, which is divided into three sections. So section A is setting up a studio. Section B is outline of the first five lessons. And section C is a complete exam program from step one to grade two. So very relevant to actually getting going and setting up your teaching practice. And then in the practical element of the exam, we have section A, performance of exam program, B, demonstration and discussion of technical challenges, and then section C, demonstration of teaching unprepared sections. Now, the new teaching certificate and diplomas have all been included at the end of each subject. So if you go into pianoforte or clarinet, any of the instruments, you'll find that up the back there with a lot of detail as to what the requirements are. We're also happy to announce for a limited time there are scholarships available for the CTMUS AGMS. If you're interested in finding out more information about the scholarship, please do contact us via the website and we'll give you more information. But wait, there is even more. Let's have a look at some events that are coming up fairly soon. So the first event is virtual and this is the AGMS International Virtual Festival. This virtual festival is basically a celebration of performance. You can ask your student to record their performance. You can record in a lesson or ask them to record it at home and then submit. All students will receive a certificate with an adjudication and they are assessed independently, platinum, gold, silver, bronze. The entry form, you can enter multiple sections all in one go and details for this will be coming out by the end of this month. Towards the middle of this year, we will have the Australian Guild of Music and Speech graduation and awards presentation. And this will be a Queensland based event. And we're very happy to restart the excitement and recognition of acknowledging students that have worked really hard and done well in their examination. Details for this will be coming out shortly. Feedback. We would really love your feedback. And this will really help us to shape the AGMS moving forward. If you don't tell us, we don't know about it. We would really like to hear things that you like about the AGMS and things that you think we could improve on. So let's just quickly recap the topics from today. So one, AGMS, we've moved to Queensland and has a brand new website, agms.edu.au. Two, we have a refreshed syllabi, 30 syllabi typeset, 1,540 pages. We've introduced new teacher qualifications, CTMUS, AGMS, right through to LTMUS, AGMS. Details of the virtual festival is coming out shortly, as well as the graduation and awards presentation. And six, we would love to hear from you. Please complete the emailed survey to help us shape your AGMS. Thank you and good afternoon.